I don't like Prager U. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I don't want it. It need to go. And I mean that sincerely. It need to go. Prager U needs to go. <laughs> and I hate it because it's like saying literally what they want me to say. Oh, look, you want to silence another conservative piece. You are going to watch a video with me. Now, to some people, this video might be a little bit triggering depending on your gender identity. I think. I think that's the right thing to say. Because there's pretty much just a lot of transphobic... Okay, I'll tell you what. There's just a lot of transphobic statements that are about to come up and a lot of false equivalencies. And the reason why I want to start my stream here is because... Fuck you, that's why. Like, not you guys, but like them. Like, I need to get shit off my chest about the type of content that I have to ingest to give you content. Because I think that what ends up happening a lot when people view shit from a left e left side, not conservative, not right uh, content, they generally need a reason to buy in. And I don't think a lot of leftists give their audience that is countering or wanting to counter their arguments the time to ingest said argument. I think that they say it very matter-of-factly. This isn't, like, again, this isn't, like, everybody. Um, I just, that's what I notice, is that the content is very educationally driven without, like, real defenses, and that's, it's part of, that's literally all of my content because the arguments that we are fighting against or to prove are already proven. It are, they are detractors from the points that we have to rein in. So it's not people's fault. I shouldn't have said it like that. That I can apologize for to myself. <laughs> um, I think that there is just so much matter-of-factly that it leads people to think you're speaking from emotions rather than logic because it's so look here's the smart answer and it's not like the direct objective is i need you to not i need you to just not sorry i need you to not just not believe in it i need you to literally hate it because it is enough for me to tell you that that's wrong but I need you to get the impact of the wrongness of what's being said. And I think that that's the difference between like what I'm trying to present and what other people present, which is why I think I'm unique. <laughs> I want to give you the argument from a perspective of like, how could, the, how could you reach that fucking conclusion through what you just said? Because I need you to understand that it's not just wrong. It's phrased correctly. So now you can't tell the difference in me telling you that's transphobic, that's evil, that's, that's hateful because you hear it so matter-of-factly that like my response is of emotion. But the logic of listening to that gets you to that point. So we are disconnected because you're not looking at it through the lens I need you to look at it through. So I'm instead of like just disproving this shit, I'm going to tell you why it just shouldn't exist. Because maybe what we're focusing on is, oh, we got to silence all the conservatives. No, you got to make their rhetoric sound like ass. Like you have to cut, like they play the, they play the hardball game of like, I'm just going to fuck your whole shit up. Like, I'm going to say as much ludicrous shit as possible, and from that point on, you're going, to, you're going to understand, like, my point of view, because there's no chance in hell that you would literally listen to all of that garbage and get the point that I'm being a bad actor or a bad faith, like, arguer. This is why, like, during that debate, if you noticed, I was so pissed off at what I was hearing. Because I cannot respond to what anything you're saying because you keep contradicting yourself. So either I must agree to previous point A or new point B, but there's no way to get between them. So how am I supposed to agree on each side? So instead of me spending time arguing with you over what you literally just said, because apparently that doesn't work for you, I'm going to try a different approach. Your argument is garbage because its end result is like, hate shit like everybody but white christians are cool and somehow these people a lot of people have deluded themselves into thinking they're a part of that group 
When it comes down to primal core instincts, you are not a part of that group. Enrique, like, not a part of that group. No matter how much you organize, no matter how much you do, you could literally be the arbiter that starts it all. They will still not put you in that group. It's not their point. So what does this all relate back to Prager U? They live off that shit. They live off of making types of content that force people to have to literally explain all the wrongdoings in it, to which it sounds like a cop-out, because you're going to tell me all the time, there's no way they could be completely wrong about anything. You just don't care about unity. You just want me to believe what you believe, and we'll move on from there. Fine. Fucking fine. But the now I can target that in a different way. It's not that I have to walk back every statement you made because it's wrong. I'm going to show you why your argument is dog shit from your point of view. Because it doesn't make sense. And this video, which I have barely watched because obviously I want to do live reactions with you guys, is, is just the starting, the, the fucking title killed me. The t I spent six minutes preparing you for that title. Enough with this dumbass argument. Please, please, please stop with this argument. Please. There is a simple, simple way I could sum up this video before I've even like watched it but i'm not gonna do myself that disservice by putting myself in a negative mind state i am open and yo i hate that so much this is what why i want to get rid of prager you because people who listen to prager you end up telling me oh you just listen to lefties all the time in the mainstream media i literally spend more time watching this than any storm than any no that's a lie that's a lie depending on which day i spend as much time listening to people react to this, therefore I have to watch it, or I spend my time watching these things, than almost, almost any other political content that I consume. Any other opinion pieces on social issues that I consume. 36,000 people raised money to help PragerU fight censorship, and that has nothing to do with any... That has nothing to do with anything. I can't get a gift sub. <laughs> like, I can't get a gift, but like 36,000 of this. So we're going to watch this. And I'm going to walk through this in a different way. And I'm going to show you why this argument is dog shit. I've been training to be a championship sprinter since I was eight years old. With the help of my parents, my coaches, and my teammates, I did it. By sophomore year of high school in 2018, I was one of the top five female high school sprinters in Connecticut. But then, one day, I wasn't. At the state championships that year, two people passed me, passed all of us girls, literally. They finished first and second in our races, dominating the field. Were they more motivated? Did they train harder? I don't think so. But they did have an edge, a big one we couldn't match. They were biological boys who said they were tra transgender girls. Do you think that's fair? Males competing against females? Game over. Game over. Game over. See? The argument is dog shit. Because you ruled out something that... <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, I got it, 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 I got it. I had this whole thing that I was listening to it and I was wrapping up the argument like I, I stacking and I just thought about something way better, way better, way fucking better. Miss. Miss. Did you finish third? <laughs> because if you finish third... That means that you beat all the other women behind you, right? Therefore, did they not train as hard? Were they not more motivated? Oh, shit. So what if you beat them? What if you beat those women that you are calling males? What if you beat them? 
Would that mean they didn't train as hard? Did that mean they didn't weren't motivated? Did you finish Pat? Did another girl finish before uh, uh, before you? Were you not in third? Then were you not trained hard enough? Did you not? Were you not motivated? That see dog shit. Look at how quick it is. Now the rest of the video might explain the point behind that, but you've already started on a point that doesn't make any sense because you yourself just said qualifications for the rest of you. Why doesn't that apply to them? Does that make sense? Why doesn't that apply to them as well? Before you make up your mind, let me tell you a bit about what it took for me to become a top female sprinter. I was right. It's about it you. It meant training with my team every day after school for at least two hours, working to shave fractions of a second off of my time in the 100 and 200 meter dash. It meant not hanging out after school or going out with friends on the weekends. It meant getting up early every Saturday morning and competing all day at a meet. It meant not indulging in any of the things that might cost me my dream. And here's the thing about the two biological males that took the top two girls medals in the state of Connecticut. Their times were not even good enough to qualify them to compete in the state championships on the boys team. Let me say that again in case you missed it. Their times were not good enough to qualify them for the boys state championships. But two years in a row, they won first and second place competing against the girls. All in all, these two biological males won 15 women's state championship titles. Notice that the argument is these two biological males. Some in the media have accused me of being a sore loser. They tell me to run harder. But the biological changes that males go through during puberty are so significant, they gain an insurmountable advantage in strength and in speed. That's why boys <coughs> always competed against boys and girls against girls. That's not true. U.S. runner Allison Felix faith. is an inspiration to me. She's the fastest female sprinter in the world. Her lifetime best for the 400 meters is 49.26 seconds. But based on 2018 data, nearly 300 high school boys in the U.S. alone could beat that record. What we are talking about then is not just boys taking women's trophies, though they are. And we aren't talking about biological boys taking women's athletic scholarships, though they'll do that too. When biological boys... We're not talking about it, but we're talking about it. ...are allowed to compete against girls in sports like track, where the differences in performance are so great, we are talking about girls getting shut out, never getting the chance to win or even compete at all. When two biological boys took the first and second place spots against me in the 2019 Indoor State Championship, I lost the opportunity to participate at the New England Championships. Because you lost. They didn't take that from you. You lost. If they weren't in the race and you lost... If that's what I'm saying, did you come in third? That's the only way you could make this argument. She didn't even say which place she came in. I lost the chance to be scouted by top coaches, possibly even to win scholarships. Right now, biological boys are being allowed to set records on the girls' team, deleting girls' records, erasing the achievements of actual girls, and setting a standard probably no girl can meet. She said deleting. Pa this is what I mean. I'm not trying to, like, sway your opinion to make you think PragerU is wrong. I'm swaying your opinion to make you think PragerU is evil. She said deleting, as if new records don't get made, and then you just go in second place or third place. They're not deleting anything. They're adding on. Women, like, anybody could break those records. You just said that earlier, that boys can break her record. That doesn't ruin her record. That mean, like, that's like saying, okay, Usain Bolt versus uh, 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 the lady that she mentioned. I'm sorry. I'm just not keeping names in my head. Um, Usain Bolt versus the lady that she mentioned would obviously be a, a win for him, but that's because he can run faster. Like, you're equating women being limited to not allowing stronger women to compete. Why don't you just become stronger? Like, the argument can't be against the two people you're talking about 
if you don't come in first every single time. If you are the outlier in speed, but you are aware that there are people who can go faster, then maybe you should just get faster. Why would the emphasis be on limiting women from competing with women because they can do it better than you? Then wouldn't we just eliminate every woman that ever does it better than every woman? Because that is like, that's your, that's your standpoint. I don't, I'm lost. No matter how much she trains or how hard she tries. The reason that we have girl sports in the first place is to give female athletes with talent, hard work, and dedication an equal opportunity to shine and be recognized. But girls will never have that opportunity if they are forced to compete with biological boys in sports like track and field, biological boys, softball, volleyball, or basketball. As if, like, the majority of the time in high school, like, it was really, like... And you brought up volleyball. <laughs> like, women's teams destroy men's teams. Like, it's about technique. Like, if you, like, that, it's not equal in the WNBA either. <laughs> it's not equal anywhere. That's saying no girl could ever, like, like beat a man in one-on-one -on -one basketball. And if you're talking about the elite level, like, no, that's just, a, that's such a bad faith argument. Because if, the, if you continue on that standard, you're doing the thing that you're claiming that other people are doing by your own logic. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't, that's weird. That feels so disingenuous. You see what I mean? It's like, I don't want you to, I don't want you to, fuck. I gotta change the camera angle again. Cause like I'm leaning down and I'm in the corner and I don't like that I'm in the corner. I want to be in the, in the thing. <laughs> okay. That's, I'm going to take that and just run with it. Okay. We're, we're taking that and we're running with it. Okay. So I need to convince people that are watching this, that I'm correct. Um, put it to you this way. If you think that this is a problem, I need you to look at it from a numbers and logic point before you look at it from a moral ethical standpoint. Because I think that we lose you on the moral ethical part where it's just, that's the, 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 the way the world is. There are more trans people competing and they should compete with the gender they identify with. Okay, I'm gonna put it to you like this. If a transgender woman, so that is a male to female, competes with their biological sex after, if we want to have that conversation on biological sex, because <laughs> even there, that argument doesn't work, but I'm going to give you this one. See, I'm compromising. Um, if a transgender woman wants to compete with boys and doesn't like dominate or doesn't keep up because of the estrogen that they have to take, which limits muscle mass, et cetera, you know, Obviously, obviously. If that is to happen, then would you say that she should compete with the girls because her times match up with the girls? Or are you saying she should work harder and train harder because she is a biological male, so she should be able to compete? See how you can't pick either? <laughs> like, that's the art. That's, that's how that right there is bad faith. Because that would be a question that would get asked. If you have somebody compete with their biological sex, this is your wording, not mine. If you have somebody compete with your biological sex, does that mean that if they don't perform well and they perform with the sex they identify with and not the one they were born with, where would you place them? Would you continue to place them in a place that they're outclassed in? Or would you put them in a place that they're more classed in? Just like we have weight classes, et cetera, you know, grades, whatever. Like, yeah. Can you answer that in good faith? If your answer to that is they should compete with the sexes that they're, that they, I, uh, uh, if your answer is they should compete with the sex that they were born with, then we end up with that conundrum. Which in, in which you would have to say, oh, they should have just trained harder. 
right? They should have worked harder. So if that's the statement on them, then it almost feels like it doesn't matter whether or not men and women compete. There are just differences, right? And now you're going to say, well, that's the argument we're making, that there are differences between men and women. To which then again, I'm going to have to say to you, if the difference is between men and women, then isn't it just the sake of the fact that they trained harder and they were more motivated to win? Because if the biological difference, you, she said in this video, hold up, so I don't make, so I don't, I don't break this apart. She said in this video. But based on 2018 data, nearly 300 high school boys in the U.S. alone could beat that record. So what is the stance that that record is garbage or is it just that's the record set by a woman? If stronger women come and break that record, does that mean that she trash? Like there are different things you can do to increase speed. Like there <laughs> It's it's a it's a double argument that has no answer. So bringing it up like the end of women's sports is a bad faith argument. Because that's that's not even so widespread as to begin to say it. Does that make sense? Like that's not even a cornerstone issue that's not so specific. Like do you get me? That's that's my problem with it. But we're going to continue. Or basketball. Women fought too hard for too long so girls like me can have the opportunity to compete on a level playing field. Maybe worst of all, when girls try to object, we would point out the truth that biological differences in strength and speed between boys and girls are massive and real. We're called bigots. Administrators, teacher that doesn't make any sense that no you're specifically talking about um when you call people not their uh when you call people by their biological sex and not the sex that or the gender that they identify with that's what you mean see bad faith pay attention even if you were to agree with the point the argument that they're making is hateful that's hate speech because they're alluding to a point that's not even being made in their speech. Therefore, you have to figure out what that speech means. The term bigot is so large and wide that you'd be like, yeah, of course I'm outraged. I'm just pointing out the truth. But on what grounds are you making that argument? Does that make sense? You're not being called a bigot for making this point. You're being called a bigot because you're denying people their gender identity. Like, you are transphobic, like, do you see what I mean? Those are transphobic actions, not being accepting. That's what's leading people to attack you. It's not because you're making a point that you feel is valid. It's because the grounds on which you make this point are, are rooted in that. You can't make that point without being that person. So you can agree with the point, but you can't agree with its standing. And because you can't agree with its standing, you can't agree with the point. Because you are not that type of person. Yeah, of course, I accept everybody of every color. But if you're going to tell me I got to call him or her, or I'm not going to do it. Like, you have exclusions to who you respect off rip because of your beliefs. Therefore, you have a transphobic belief. It's not that you're afraid of trans people. It's that you won't recognize them as equal. Therefore, this argument would be bullshit if you tried to argue it for literally anything else in which these realms work. Because you can't have an exception and then say, oh, I'm not a bigot. Like, what are you then? A person with beliefs against a certain type of... Ah. See? That's why I think Prager you shouldn't exist <laughs> because of shit like that. Teachers, coaches, and other students tell us to just keep quiet and take it. We are told a girl's place is to be seen and not heard. Well, that's hyperbole. That's hyperbole. That's like muting you on all issues. Like, you know how she said that. They tell us that a girl's place is to be seen and not heard. That's what we tell children. A child's place is to be seen and not heard. Like, 
Like, you see, like, how they use inflammatory language to get you to feel a certain type of way? I'm not, do notice me, I'm not walking back their statements because they're factually incorrect. I'm walking back the point of what they're saying because it's rooted in something that you yourself would deny feeling. Therefore, how can you agree with it if its standing is in that? I would never want you to agree with me on something just because, like, I'm the one who said it. It has to make sense. Because if you find out, like, that, like, okay, we're going to say something wild that would be accepted in, in a future society. If you find out I abduct dragons and, like, dragons are sacred, like, you would agree with my points, but you couldn't agree with my standing. You wouldn't stand with me. He makes great points, but he abducts dragons, so I hate him, like, socially. Therefore, I'm not going to bring his points up in argument because, like, you back that guy? You listen to that guy? what i mean that's not a good faith argument that's why like during that debate i couldn't like get in a word because if i have to accept and debate on these terms then i am agreeing with the premise of how you got to this argument and you hide it behind very nicely selected details nicely selected stories and then you accuse the left of doing the same but in what time do we get to make these points? Because the issues actually exist. And I have to continue to spend time talking about things like this. To which I would say, no, you're just making a counter argument to make us feel bad for you. Therefore, agree with what you're saying. Oh my God, how could they do that to that poor girl? But if you didn't come in third, then this got nothing to do with you. Why is it the person who came in third making that argument? At least they have a valid criticism. I was the fastest runner in the school. These two girls just came up and blew, like, blew me away. Oh, and I found out that they were biological males. That's the reason why. What if they lost? If they came in fifth and sixth, would the seventh and eighth player, uh, uh, seventh and eighth runners also say the only reason that they beat us is because they're, they're men? See how that doesn't make sense? <laughs> See how that just doesn't make sense? There's just differences in athletic ability. Now, is it completely correct in every form or fashion? I can see an argument against it. I can see a regulatory practice on how that works and where, and I could see that needing to be eased in instead of just, oh, whatever you identify with, go. I could see that being an argument. And I would have a tough time arguing against it because I'm not I'm not dumb enough to put my foot in my mouth but again also I don't think that's widespread enough for us to have a conversation on the seriousness of it if that makes sense like oh because they beat me I didn't get to compete in Maryland if you had lost period you wouldn't have been able to compete so why is it those two that are the problem and not like your lack of athletic skill what were the times like what were the like what, what's your marginal time? How were you feeling that day? Were you not as motivated? Were you scared because they were there? Like, there's so much to delve into. Whereas on the left, I really feel like all the problems are just felt by everybody. We're all poor, we're all losing our homes, and we need stimulus checks. Like, where do you find the compromise between human rights and, like, this shit? Like, you're complaining. It's another, compl it's another complaining segment on losing your womanhood. Like, Okay. This is to be seen and not heard. Well, we won't be silenced. We are fighting back. With two other top female runners in Connecticut, I have filed a federal lawsuit under Title IX to protect the rights of women and girls to a fair competition on a level playing field. See? I just told you that that was a bad faith argument, and they filed a federal lawsuit. Please don't turn your backs on us, America. This isn't about gender identity. It's about fair play. I'm Selena Soul for Prager University. It's literally about gender identity. Like, that's... You're arguing on behalf of biological women, cis women. You're arguing on the, on the grounds of cis women. That's a gender identity. Oh, my God, the straights are at it again. <laughs> 